Moon will make its move in the sign of Leo on 23rd of June until 25th evening. Moon will be in Leo zodiac sign as per Indian Standard Time. Now, when Moon moves to the Leo zodiac sign, it is definitely going to be uh, a powerful, powerful Moon. Moon is in the zodiac sign of its friend Sun, and Surya, Surya Dev will be in the Gemini zodiac sign, uh, which will be basically 11th from this Moon, which is going to make this moon extremely powerful. Your mind will be more positive and you will see that your mind is more inclined towards gains, towards profit, towards meeting new people. You will have this interest and enthusiasm to focus more on the new learning, acquiring new technology, uh, you know, discovering new things, exploring new factors in life and this will also help you grow in your career and it will help you grow financially. Also, Exactly during the time when Moon will be in Leo zodiac sign, you will experience uh, Parivartan of Rashi. That means Mercury will move from Taurus to Gemini. And because there is a Mercury transit, uh, the Sun and Mo Mercury will form a Buddhaditya Yoga in the 11th house from the Moon, which is very good for people who are in engineering sector, who are in pharmaceutical, medical, who are teachers, who are students, anyone who is involved in learning profession or or professionals who require a lot of data, a lot of analysis and uh, this will also help you meet intelligent people, people who can resolve issues. Uh, if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a businessman, you will, you will see that you will find good talent during this time and also your mind and your focus will be more ambitious and uh, you will see that this moon will give you hope, this time will give you, uh, you know, something to cheer about. Because Mars and Venus, uh, which is in Ashlesha Nakshatra, uh, gave a bad experience on the Moon and now Moon is out of this. Uh, you might experiment a lot during this time and you might uh, over believe. Now this is one factor where you will have to be careful considering Jupiter and Rahu is in the ninth house from this Moon and Ketu is in the third house from the Moon. So while you are experimenting, uh, be cautious how you are doing, what you are following, who who whose information you are actually taking in and uh, what are you believing in jupiter will aspect this moon which is a good thing but jupiter and rahu guru chandal ninth from the chandra can make you anxious can make you believe in things which are impossible to achieve and at the end of the day you might go trying and attempting things that are actually not that great so this is one area where gains will come but then what type of gain you want from your life you will have to be you know very clear in your mind although this moon will give you enough motivation enough resources and a very bright mindset but then too much of anything is bad being too optimistic can also go against you so keep that in mind self-check is necessary and that self-check will come through criticism that will come from saturn which is right in front of the moon retrograding a retrograde saturn right in front of the moon can make you rethink on many factors of life, can make you rethink on uh, maybe a new information comes your way, a new partner comes your way, a new, new hope comes and that may make you rethink, revisit all your plans and all your data analysis that you have previously done. So don't refrain from going for a revisiting of your own plans and if anything is, any change is needed, think about it uh, and you can act on the change but when you are almost sure of what you're doing and why you are doing it in the first place. A retrograde Saturn 7th from the moon can also impact your marriage. So try to maintain a work-life balance. And uh, if you are a Leo moon, if you are an Aries moon, Sagittarius moon, if or you are if you are Aquarius moon sign, then you will see that these shifts will take more prominently. Your mood will be, you know, in this direction more prominently. And if you are a Capricorn moon sign then you will have to be slightly cautious uh, because this moon in the sign of Leo will fall moon sign moon in Leo will fall on your eighth house so be slightly careful uh, try to maintain harmonious relationship ego and arrogance should be kept aside you can also chant uh, Narsimha Kavach you can you can pray to Bhagwan Narayan during this time uh, waking up before sunrise chanting Suri Mantra will also be helpful Take some initiative regarding your health and focus. Take the feedback that the surrounding gives very cautiously because all the feedback that you are getting right now 
may be very important to your life. You were watching a Moon Analysis video on Sadgame. Please subscribe and share the videos among family and friends and stay connected with me. More such short videos will come soon on this platform which is for astrology on the go to learn astrology quickly. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, Namaste. Thank you.